Home fire deaths hit a 14-year high last year, according to the National Fire Protection Association. And fire investigators say families need to make a home escape plan. First News anchor Dave Sess has that story. Sparky has been teaching Hermitage children about fire safety for 16 years. He moves and even talks. Sparky reaches over 1,300 children each year about the dangers of fire. Knowing what causes fires, uh, how serious that is, not playing with matches, uh, anything like that as a child. Prevention starts at home. Case Clark teaches families to talk about a fire escape plan over dinner and pick a meeting place. The first step is to get out immediately when hearing an alarm and go to the predetermined spot. That even helps firefighters. But it, it helps uh, put our minds at ease that uh, we know that everybody that was in the house is now out. Hermitage also has a trailer which lets children practice the rules to fire safety, teaching them how to escape on their own in case adults are not able to help. In a fire, there could be smoke up here. So what they do is encourage the kids to get low and go. All the materials inside our homes burn quicker and hotter now, uh, where uh, you may have had five minutes to get out of a home before in the 70s, you have even less time now. This is Fire Prevention Week, but Hermitage will share tips with children for the entire month or whenever they're asked. The information they pass on is extremely important. I think that's one of the reasons uh, we tend to see lower numbers of fatal fires is from the uh, prevention and the education side of things, not just the protection side where we go out and actually fight the fires. It needs to start before that, having a plan in place. Dave Sess, 27 First News.